those things. At the analog frequency, you could not have more than 10 TV stations in the country. When we migrated, today we have almost 90, if not more, 90 TV stations in all languages. Different genres, different audiences, different targets. I would term digital migration as the gradual movement of social interaction, professional interaction, from the more physical, manual space into the electronic, digital space. The viewers are spoiled for choice. The power has moved from the broadcasters who had to choose when you have to watch news, when, what you have to watch on Monday, what you have to watch on Tuesday. So the few are now seated behind a, a TV station as a full control. The digital space is a shared economy, so it allows for access and we have really seen this in the radio and TV space. And many of the radio stations that we have are also online, so they do also have audiences and followers who are out of this country. Sasa mwananchi yule wa kawaida anaweza pata habari muhimu kuhusu mambo ya kibiashara, mambo ya ukulima, sahi anajua mambo mingi. Kamati ya bunge kuhusu uwekezaji imeidhinisha kufunguliwa mashtaka. Communication authority has done a lot in terms of opening the broadcast space before it was a reserve of the rich. Those who are deep pocket are the only people who could be able to invest, but if you look at the current state, we have a lot of small prayers. You can even learn a TV station from your bedroom. We have more of an equalizing opportunity in the upcoming technological developments. Unlike the industrial age, where you had to have huge capital investments and years of human capital investment as well in colleges and schools and universities we do not have, we now have the ability to connect in such a way that you can be sitting in Kenya and serving somebody in India. One would ask, if the Communications Authority of Kenya did not exist, what would it look like? Now, this would be a situation where, when television uh, programs are playing, there would be interferences across channels, and you would not know what program or what uh, station would be appearing on a certain frequency. Because one of the key areas of our mandate that goes to the core is to ensure compliance and enforcement by our licensees. This provides quality assurance and protects the integrity of our resources. Really having the right regulator has been extremely critical for the growth of this country and growth of the digital economy. Before, the Kenyan economy was basically driven by agriculture, but now we have become a society that is information driven with the requirement for 40% local content. That directly creates employment for the young people. Ten young people can come together and uh, generate content which at the end of the day will not stay in the shelves, will find its way in a local channel which is broadcasting somewhere in Mandela, somewhere in, uh, in, 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 in Kericho, and so that creates employment to the young people. The shift to digital broadcasting that was something. Suffice to say that also Kenya was among the first three countries in Africa that were able to do this and it led to an explosion of content and today we have witnessed the talent um, that exists within this country, seeing the kind of programs and the films that are being created in this country. That was really uh, quite dramatic. It has opened a new world.